Scott Davis from Lion Guard here with a best practice tip on how you can reduce noise using Lion Guard's actionable alerts. So let's take a look. So I'm gonna start coming into the admin actionable alert section. That's admin actionable alerts. And that's gonna give you your actionable alert, actionable alert rules, templates, and environments. So when I look at my rules, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna filter for expiration. I'm gonna pick an easy one here. And let's take a look at internet domain expiration. So when I look at an internet domain expiration, it's what I would expect to see. A trigger to notify me at 30 days, 15 days, five days. A pretty self-explanatory, you know, overall conditions and rule. But let's go ahead and let's click these two boxes here and let's clone this alert. So when I'm in my rule generator, you can see section number one is about the name. Section number two is where I can start filtering and customizing the message or the, uh, the, tr the thresholds that are set to actually reduce that noise. So here I can see contoso.com, days until expiration less than equals to five. That's pretty self-explanatory. But using our if all or if any statements, I can also assign the priority level here, critical, high, medium, or low. But what I can do is any metric that's created by LineGuard or by you, we can come in here and we can filter. So say for example with register, Say I did not want any domains that were registered by GoDaddy to appear on my alert. So say for example, I have a different alerting system for GoDaddy and I don't need two alerts triggering the same thing. Or even more so, GoDaddy domains typically renew at day zero. So do I really need a critical, a high, and a medium priority ticket generated for these GoDaddy domains? So what I can do is I can use this metric operator of does not contain in the threshold here to say, I don't want these messages. And you can do the same thing with your high, your medium, or even your low priority tickets. The other thing that you have the capability of doing is customizing the body of the message. Now, a lot of systems out there that the MSP space uses, it's a simple checkbox. Do you want the alert or do you not want the alert? With LineGuard being able to customize that body message is absolutely crucial. How many times have you gotten a phone call or that team's message indicating it's like, hey Scott, you helped me with this issue a couple weeks ago or a month ago, I can't find the SOP that you sent me. Well, what we have the capability of doing is dropping that link right in here. So say it's sharepoint.microsoft.com uh, slash your SOP or say you're using a different documentation tool, putting the URL right inside the body of the message, allowing your technicians not even have to go search it. They just click the link and they know what SOP they're following. If you don't have it documented yet or you don't have a documentation platform, outline the steps right inside that alert content body. That's going to help save your technicians time and energy in going through it. Now, something else that's super cool that is a great time saver once you get into setting it up is you also have the capability of adding these additional metrics into the body here. So say, for example, I want to go in and I want to add DNS SEC. Say I'm going through and making sure every one of my customers has DNS SEC. Or another popular favorite one is SPF. So say I want to go in here and say I want to see the SPF records for everything. So now right down here, you can see it added that in. Now I'll put it at step four, I can erase that there. But you can now see those SPF records. You're empowering your technicians, your lower level technicians with the information at their fingerprints, the link to the SOP or the steps that you expect them to complete. And you do all of this while customizing when the alerts are triggered, making sure that when the thresholds are fet met for all of the conditions, that the alert is actually generated. This allows you to cut down noise, allowing your techs the time to focus on the things they need to focus on. So that's just another great example of LineGuard can help save you time and money. Thanks for tuning in.